So we might as well talk a little bit about the merger and stuff going on. A bunch of news came out. One was with the acquisition of, I believe it was called Iron Source. Um, it's a company that a lot of people at Allegate had a bunch of malware issues in the past. After looking into it, um, what's pretty much happened is they created a tool that third parties use to install malware. So it wasn't them themselves. And since then, that tool has been deprecated. So I don't think there's a huge large amount to worry about that. As far as uh, Kagaya, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, the, the big game that Unity <laughs> was making as an example project, they did fire all of those devs, um, which is very unfortunate. That game would have been a great example of how to make a high quality game in Unity. Um, I hope that we get a replacement or something like that at some point. I might try and get together a bunch of my dev friends and make something at some point to try and show some of the like higher end capabilities of Unity. In addition to that, um, there's a issue of the CEO basically calling a bunch of developers stupid for not focusing on monetization from the start, which the way he said it was pretty bad, but his message isn't wrong. Um, this is a pr problem that a lot of artists have. They forget to think about things from a business standpoint. If you're an artist, if you're a contractor, you, you are a solo business. You are a, a small business, and you need to think of things as such. You need to make sure that you're making enough that you can continue to fuel your creative goals and life. And you need to make enough that you're not just living paycheck to paycheck. And in order to do something like that, you do need to focus on monetization from the start when you work on a project. You need to, need to think about, okay, do I want to put microtransactions or do I want a subscription service or cloud service or what have you, as well as marketing. Marketing is very important. You can make the best game in the world, but if no one plays it, it doesn't matter. I don't disagree with this message. I disagree with the way he said it, but it's important not to neglect the message itself. So all in all, I'm not that concerned about Unity disappearing or Unity going away. I think um, it's still got a lot of future behind it. I'm going to keep devving in it until it reaches the point where I can't make the games I want to make in Unity, but I don't foresee that happening in all honesty. Um, it's a very robust tool and has tons of features. Um, you could take this as an opportunity to broaden your skill set if you want to, like spend a little bit of time learning Godot or learning Unreal or something like that. Just be mindful of not spending too much time uh, doing so. Um, there's something to be said about specialization as opposed to being super generalist. Um, you want to be generalist to an extent, but being too generalist means you don't really master anything and you won't be super competitive in anything. So myself, I'm a programmer first and foremost, but I really enjoy doing art as a hobby. But I keep art as into like a hobby level. I don't necessarily have art as a uh, career path. So I'll, I'll do art, but I'm not going to focus on art to the exclusion of other things. But yeah, TLDR, everyone's freaking out for no reason. Everything will be fine. Um, if you want to diversify your skill set a little bit, nothing wrong with doing that. Just don't spread yourself too thin and continue working on your dreams.